of all Zimbabwe to our prayer uh, read this verse let's open our Bibles to Psalms uh, 24 verse 1 I'll read this verse for you it says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness therein very critical the fullness therein so everything belongs to the to the Lord uh, we shall bow our heads see the tandas to me then again bow our way to us is we need a lot of times have any blue blue see a woman it to a linge see a woman blue blue would sing a one to a back when on blue blue it is a good eye on blue 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 with nanti ushelo or pump way to Nanga ama programs zinga abantu na basi Zimbabwe wabata la mfanye kisowa ako nantu sielo lupamwe tu kulunkulu slava pokeli be tulapa nasi ngangu yako kulunkulu oga Nelson Chamisa umketi leo kulunkulu kuti akokele isizwe sasa Zimbabwe tela kulunkulu ge isbusi so ubusubusi sa abakokeli bwonge abakasa nilai. Usisa ngamunye ngamunye nkulunkulu lapa. Kuti kuonko kuzatu kwenzi we nkulunkulu. Ube ngohamba pambili kocha omuvi. Sikulegele izu le tilase Zimbabwe baba. Eli pakati kwe zinkinga e zingaga. So ngatu ngange nila wena. Ngenze la isimanga na antu ketolu pambu wetu. Esi kukwela yu nkulunkulu kuti kamba pambili wena. Kocha omuvi, kocha i violence. Ebutine nikuwa kugonke kwe suksenzi ya kintando. Mubasu kulika nguchi nsu kristi nko sietu. Amen. Si, si, si. 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 We may take our seats. Um. Change champion in chief, the incoming president, uh, Honorable Advocate Nelson Chamisa, members of parliament here present, Honorable Shibaya, change champions uh, here present, business community, the civil society, our friends um, here in South Africa, the friends of um, change, the friends of Zimbabwe, uh, ladies and, and gentlemen. Um, we are gathered here for a policy, a diaspora policy uh, discussion, where uh, as the people in diaspora are conversing as citizens of Zimbabwe to see and map the way forward, our destiny must be determined by us. So we have a role to play. Our role as the office of the diaspora affairs is to mobilize and coordinate and utilize the human capital and material resources of Zimbabweans in the diaspora to win Zimbabwe for change. You must underline the word to win Zimbabwe for change. We are all here to make sure that we deliver a new Zimbabwe led by President Nelson Chamisa. We must be visible, viable, and very active as a network of people in the diaspora, amplifying our voices, making sure that our voice is heard. Mr. President, sir, we know we don't have time, much time, uh, but I must say that uh, the diaspora plays a very critical role, and as the party, as a movement, we respect it in terms of making sure that we maximize and amplify their participation in the national discourse, including uh, the issue to do with decision making. Diaspora vote is very critical, corporate president, uh, as um, in an office, we also encourage this diaspora to participate in, in the, the projects that the party is, in, is pursuing, including uh, resource mobilization for elections, including mobilizing other uh, citizens to participate in elections. Different programs, diaspora programs, have been conducted by our members in the diaspora. I, want, I must say, I, we thank the, 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 our external assemblies uh, in various countries who have been initiating programs in the diaspora. We give you a salute. Uh, without much ado, let me uh, take this opportunity um, to welcome to the podium the men um, 
whom the hope of, Zim, of all Zimbabweans is hinged. Let me welcome to the, this podium the president, the incoming president, come, 20, come 23 August 2023, the man who is going to be at the helm of uh, Zimbabwe, the man who will occupy state house and state power. Welcome, Mr. President. Welcome, Chencha Binu Chief. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We may be seated, um, colleagues. Um, I'm very sorry for the delay in uh, the commencement of this program. Um, but just to say that uh, we appreciate you, uh, our colleagues here present, members of the business community, our professionals, civil society, uh, those from the political structures. The unfortunate thing is that I got delayed somewhere where I had some meetings with some uh, people, equally as important as you are. I would have loved to have more time to engage with you um, and to hear your views, especially as we continue to, de to develop and build on the uh, diaspora police uh, framework. Um, but with that as it may, I'm so uh, glad to say a lot of work has been done and I want to thank the team who have been working on the development of this document. Uh, Clifford and uh, the entire team, I'm also sure if they are all here, just to appreciate them and salute their effort. Uh, where are they? Yes, thank you very much, uh, Chamu and uh, Dr. Mahembe. Who else? Oh, yes, they are in different countries. So yes, we, we are very thankful for what you have done and we continue to appreciate your efforts. Uh, back home, you will find that in a new Zimbabwe, the diaspora is going to play a pivotal role. My message is very simple. Get ready to be back home. Uh, a lot of you are busy working on uh, uh, you know, permanent stay, uh, permanent residence. That's not your space. Your space in Zimbabwe. And we are getting ready that space for you to come. I know when you are a bearer of good news, people don't believe you, particularly if they are sinking. Uh, the circumstances are such that you may not understand that we are almost there. God has remembered us. God is with us. We are going to make it. I know a lot of people have doubts that ah, we're going to be able to overwhelm the crocodile. Yes, the crocodile is going to be overwhelmed. In our world, we don't have crocodiles, we have lizards. And because we have the grace, we will be able to overwhelm and overcome. Let's get ready to prepare for reconstruction, to prepare for restoration, but also to prepare for a new life back home in Zimbabwe. Our country is great. You know, in 1980, as I indicated yesterday, we had a, an economy and a currency that was stronger than the rand. And we're at par with the US dollar and also most the pound. That's where we must be going back. It's possible. We will do it. We have everything in Zimbabwe except leadership. And what we have to fix is the leadership question. And we are ready to fix that leadership question. Yes, thank you for the contribution. Thank you for what you are doing. I can only tell you that as you plan, plan with the understanding that before the year end, we will be doing what we have to do, building Zimbabwe and rebuilding Zimbabwe together as a people. And we'll be able to be better than any other country because we have all the necessary ingredients to take our country where it's supposed to be. So the diaspora is going to be our key investment source, not just from an investment uh, support point of view, but also from a resource point of view, the human resources, the engineers, you know, the expertise we have had in the hospitality industry. We need to take back that hospitality experience and exposure into Zimbabwe and make Zimbabwe great again and make Zimbabwe great for everyone and make Zimbabwe a beautiful country for everyone and make Zimbabwe a country that we are proud of again together for everyone. Uh, so yes, thank you. God bless you. Uh, I must to just thank you for your patience and your support. Uh, let's do it for our great country 
and it's going to happen. I would want to take some few questions uh, because I want it to be interactive. Uh, just to hear what the feedback is, what the um, uh, experts here would want us to uh, put into our policy as a policy development framework. Thank you. I want to thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, as you've, you have heard, the president uh, just wants uh, some uh, questions from the floor so that uh, we we'll input in our police discourse. Anyone with a comment or a, a question to the president? Yeah. Uh, research in the 
hospitality sector uh, is part of my doctoral studies. Uh, and what I found out is that we have so many Zimbabweans working in the hospitality sector. But what is specifically, you know, peculiar about these Zimbabweans is that most of them they possess yeah. what we call Mama. high skills. Okay, so they are highly skilled. Mm. That is job mismatches. We find doctors, engineers working in the hospitality sector. So that's another area I think like as you draw back the skills back home that are very sorry. That we certainly need to have a skills oddity. I hope it's part of the, it's actually part of the framing uh, of the diaspora vote, uh, sorry, the diaspora <laughs> police today. So now it goes, I go quickly to the issue of diaspora vote. So we all know that for one to be identified as a citizen, obviously they need their political right to vote, isn't it? Um, I think we have so many lessons that we could draw from many countries uh, within not only the region, SADC, um, across Africa and across the world where people like all of us in this particular room we all have our right to vote come the 23rd of August but because of the capitalist model um, economic model that we are living in you have um, Jeanette wanting to come and vote but of course the employer won't allow Jeanette to travel all the way to Zimbabwe for those particular days, perhaps uh, at least some of us, those we are in the academic field, that is flexible, we can go. But there are those who would actually, by the time they come back, they'll find Chutupachawa by a window. So we really need to um, think through the issue of the diaspora vote. I think we have had some campaigns uh, through the MDC structures before. Um, it's not something that is new. It's something that we need to actually strengthen that particular campaign to ensure that all those crowds that were out there yesterday, they go back home and vote. And for those who are able to support um, our own sisters and brothers to go and vote, please, we are actually appealing to you. Because at the end of the day, the economic, uh, the political is economic and the economic is social. You can go back and at the end of the day, you don't have uh, the right to vote. So I'll leave it there. Um, just the last one. Sorry, my leader. There's a special case that I came with today. I said that our president was, I, I certainly have too much trust in him. Um, to take forward the issues. Yes, we need practical examples. I'm an educator. So um, this sister of mine, Trisha, here, I met her today through our partner, United Front. Uh, we have Queen Teboko here in the room uh, from South Africa. She works actually with communities also in Soweto. As you see here, standing here, she doesn't have a birth certificate. She's from Zimbabwe. And her daughter is meant to write her metric this year, she doesn't have a birth certificate. So the issue of citizenship and documentation is something that is very critical that I'm praying that our um, dear president and his team will take it seriously. I thank you. Let's, 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 let's try to be as, as brief as possible. We are behind time. Yeah, Who's next? Uh, good afternoon, Mr. President. My name is Kumbuzo uh, Manduna, and it's a pleasure to be given this opportunity to speak. My first question, Mr. President, it regards the the new party, with our party, Triple C, policy position regarding currency. What would be our policy position, especially regarding currency, considering that we have this you know, background of uh, volatility and uncertainty in, in Zimbabwe? And that makes it uh, 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 difficult for business to plan. That's my only question there. Um, yeah. Next. Uh, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. My name is Shelton Chiamba. 
uh, popularly known as the People's General. I am dealing with uh, refugees in South Africa and migrants in South Africa for the past four years. Mine is not a question, Mr. President, but a comment. I every 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 month travel to many parts of the country meeting Zimbabweans. Ever since the party was formed. For the first time ever that I've served in party structures here in South Africa, our people have got hope in you. And for the first time in our platforms that we meet, in our WhatsApp groups, we have been encouraging people whenever they travel back home to say, give us proof that you registered to vote. Our people have registered to vote. They are willing to come and they are coming to vote for you. So mind the comment, we have got hope, we are dreaming again. Thank you. Uh, thank you, President. Uh, my name is Dennis Juru. I'm the president of the International Cross Border Traders Association. Uh, I represent uh, cross border traders and people in the diaspora. Uh, we really appreciate your uh, presence here, President. Uh, and I would like to assure you that uh, we managed to bus people to go to Bedbridge and register to vote. People could not go to their respective uh, constituencies, but we managed to take them to Bedbridge so that even if they can not vote for their MPs but they can still vote for the president. So I'm very, very certain that you have the diaspora vote and I and my executive will make sure that we will send more buses come the 23rd of uh, 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 August. And then the other thing is, Mr. President, uh, as uh, uh, cross-border traders, we frequently go to Zim and to other countries. Uh, we are the people who can convey messages of hope, messages of change, and make sure that uh, our relatives back home, they vote for change. And we guarantee you that our parents back home as breadwinners. They must vote for you. It's not an option. They must vote for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we have closed the questions. The question session. Let's hear from the president. Thank you. You know, I'm almost tempted to give more time. <laughs> because I was benefiting a lot from the feedback, but it also dawned on me that we probably have not done certain things properly. Uh, we must create these platforms for dialogue between the mm -hmm. citizens in the diaspora yes. and the leadership back home. Why? Because it helps us to appreciate the extent of the challenges and circumstances we are subjected to. And that we are also able to respond adequately to the issues that you are raising. You know, um, just listening to you, especially my sister, they're giving a typical example of undocumented, uh, you know, uh, uh, in, uh, residents and citizens. I know there was a report done by the Amnesty International, uh, and the greater number of our people in the region are undocumented. Uh, but we need to be able to have a regional approach to it and a continental approach to it uh, to make sure that, you know, Africa is, is indeed... I was having a conversation before I came here and I said, why is it that Africa is quick to join the so-called superpowers when we are failing to think of Africa as a superpower? <laughs> why, why can't we begin to say... Is it not possible for the region to sit down? We we'll start with Sada. Diamond polishing is supposed to be done in Botswana. All of us will do the mining, but value addition is done in Botswana. Here's an example. Gold is going to be done in Egoli, South Africa. All of us do the mining, but we all have to make sure that our gold is value added in South Africa. Zimbabwe will give you platinum or chrome, okay? Because you do chrome or depending on our synergies, 
We build Africa as a solid continent and as a superpower. It's possible. But it's a conversation that begins with also appreciating that we are one together. This whole thing of being divided on the basis of our boundaries that were given to us. You know, boundaries that we have are not African. They are European. So, you know, it doesn't matter how much we work as Africans. If we have not reversed the vestiges of colonialism that were imposed on us, we will not be able to be another thing. Do you know when you are an elephant, if they call you a rat, it doesn't matter how big you are in size. You will appear like a rat. What they call you is what you become. <laughs> so we have to be able to call ourselves who we are. Because we have been called rats when we are elephants. Okay? Our kings have been called chiefs. Yet you go to those who call us chiefs. They don't have chiefs in their own domestic jurisdictions. They have kings. Royalty must be treated as royalty. Not this habit of looking at a lion, you call it a cat. You know? And you accept when you are a lion that you are a cat. Even if as you roar, they will say you are mewing. Okay? We have to rethink the continent and rethink our identity and rethink the boundaries. Rethink what has been given to us, our names and our destiny. So that's my answer to your, the issue. It's a deeper conversation. A leadership conversation. I know the ANC and President Ramaphosa, there was a big debate around all oh, Russia, all oh, stuff like that. No. Africa is a superpower. We don't join with superpowers. We are a superpower. We must be joined as a superpower. But I know that conversation is for another day. But it's in the context of our diaspora and seeing what we are able to do. you know that Africans are running the world? But you know, when you run the world and you don't know it, you will never understand the true value that you have. All the capitals of the world, the best engineers, pilots, you know, you go to Germany, it's Africans who are doing it. But if there is no leadership from Africa, there is never going to be an understanding of our full competences that we must be able to build. You also raised the issue of uh, hope, Shelton. Thank you very much. And it, hope is there. There will be change in Zimbabwe. I know people doubt. But please, stop doubting. Get ready. Do you know, when Martin Luther King said that there's going to be a black man walking side by side with a black, a black child going to school, back then, when I said I have a dream, they said, no, this guy is hallucinating. Take, 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 it, take it back to Africa. But there was Obama recently. Luther King was able to see into the future and bring it to his circumstances. Let's see where we are on Zimbabwe. I can tell you that Zimbabwe is going to be the giant on the continent. I can tell you that. We will headquarter most of the biggest institutions. I can see my brother he there. You know. Yes, South Africa, you are going to be coming to us for a lot of assistance. <laughs> can I tell you what's going to happen? South Africa, you will be coming for help from Zimbabwe. We are also going to reciprocate your love. This time we will teach you to say we can never separate on the basis of boundaries because we are one people. It will happen. It will happen. You will see it. But let's get ready for it. The hope has to be realized. There's the issue of uh, the currents. You asked about the current. Ultimately, Skumbuzo, we would want to have our own currency. But before we get there, the issue is not a currency problem. It's a confidence problem. It's a trust problem. It's a certainty problem. How do you resolve that? It's a political issue. It's a leadership issue. The moment you just indicate that Chamisa is going to be the president tomorrow because the citizens want it, the currency will stabilize. <laughs> I recall a conversation I had with uh, Strive Masiwa. He was telling me back then, I, you know, we we're students then and we we're just having a discussion. Do you know that if Mugabe says he's going to resign next week, the dollar will fail? 
I said, this man hates Mugabe with a passion. But he was correct. <laughs> Signals in politics dictate the stability of economics. You don't fix the economy in economics. You fix the economy in politics. When there is consistency of leadership, of policy, then you birth the confidence of citizens. Munangagwa had it. After the 2017 uh, military assisted, I don't call it a coup, military assisted, uh, 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 it was not even a transition. Uh, uh, it was not even a handover. It was just a military assisted happening. <laughs> event because I, I wouldn't want to say that it was a takeover <laughs> I hear you are saying time you see time must be able in Africa <laughs> no in Africa time must wait for leaders <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing of time being dragged by you uh, know it's not good no I hear you thank you so much so the issue of the currents will have to start with the a basket of currencies continuing with the multi-current system as a way of stabilizing, as a way of stopping the hemorrhage. We can't at this juncture say we are going to be able to go back to the other teachers. They've tried it. It has not worked. You can't also introduce your own currents before people see the signals that are coming from the political leadership. But even ourselves as we go forward, we must be rethinking and that's part of our economics team who are dealing with the rapid uh, accelerated transformation of the economy program why can't we also have the gold standard it's a deeper conversation and i know that it is enemies but we need to be thinking in that direction and when we launch our policy as you shall see we are going to review how we are going to be dealing with the issue of the economy but in the short term short to medium term is a basket of currencies until we locate our mojo in confidence and in trust. The issue of the refugees and also the issue of Tarwana, my brother Juru, thank you for the work that you have done. Um, but more importantly, we must be able to think seriously about making sure that all the five million Zimbabweans in the diaspora they may not be able to come back, all of them, but we must do progressive policy making that ensures that our experts in different business you know, enterprises are given support. Because we have to start from somewhere. And the foundation upon which we are going to build our great economy is the diaspora. So we need your skills. We need your expertise. Zimbabwe is going to boom. We did it during the inclusive government. When it was a half horse half a donkey you know <laughs> what more if it is and, and, a half horse and a half donkey is a mule huh? we did it what, what more if we are just a, a full horse yeah. you will see what will happen give us the chance we have the answers it is well and I know together as a people we will make it make no mistake it's unfortunate that I have to go for another meeting, but I really would have loved to have a deeper conversation uh, with colleagues. But we'll have to have more, and we have time. Like I said, I really want to have another meeting before we go to the elections. That is properly advertised, that is properly, and we would combine that meeting and that conversation. And if you allow me, I would want to make sure that we really have that uh, kind of an exchange so that we are enriching our policies. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Let's pray. Let's pray for our country. Let's pray for the leadership. Let's pray for peace. But more importantly, let's do something about it. Those three asks. Come home and vote. Number one. Number two. Go to your parents, to your relatives, at home. Get your five. If you can't go back to register and vote. Them, they listen to you because you have money. <laughs> you know, when you are like myself, I have nothing. You know, nobody listens to you. They listen to you to say, you know, if you really want more money, do the right thing. Go and vote. And not just go and vote. Vote for change. Because just to say go and vote, they will go there and they will vote for the scarf. Go and vote for change. <laughs> And this time I hope you will say it's not 
Chikafu or scarf, but we are voting for change. Yes. That is what we must say as a message. Last but not least, always adopt a polling station. A rant makes a difference. Yes. Adopt a polling station. A dollar makes a difference. That is my plea to you. And that way, we'll have a collective head. But I want to thank you, especially Diaspora, South Africa. You have made the difference. Thank you so much. And I'm Koma Temba. We see what you'll be doing. We love it. And thank you. Continue to do it. We are very happy. We have the citizens. And you are the donors. Thank you for what you have been doing. God bless you. And take charge. Thank you. Let's remain seated, uh, citizens. Let's remain seated as the president is leaving the room. Uh, we are not going anywhere.